it's Father's Day and I'm actually at my parents' house, which is why it looks a little different. Um, these are actually pictures that I took in Liverpool and then put them on canvas for my parents when we redid their room. Just a little side note. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do a really quick video for you guys to talk about static nails. Um, it's what I have on. Ugh, that might be out of focus. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram. I put them on um, a week ago now. It was last Sunday night that I put them on. So I just wanted to do a quick review of kind of how they held up. Um, I will say overall I really liked these. Um, the main reason I like them is because I have really short nails and I don't like acrylic because it is so damaging to your nails. Um, so this is a really nice alternative for me. Um, I got these at the makeup show so I didn't pay full price um, for them to be honest. Um, I think regular price is $37 for a set. Now the good thing about static nails is you can reuse them. I think they say you can reuse them up to six times, which is really neat. Um, but just to kind of uh, talk about this particular style that I got, um, it's called Galaxy. And um, as you can see, like there are different colors. Um, this purple glitter nail, I will not be able to reuse these. And that is one thing that I was kind of frustrated about. Um, and part of it is I think I'm just really hard on my nails. I do a lot of stuff with my hands. Um, so I'm sure that's part of it, but um, I don't think you can tell, and I may insert a still image, but it's just really rubbed off. Like you can tell just where I do things like type or just do things with my hands. Um, it's really rubbed off on the edges of those glitter nails, so I won't be able to reuse those, unfortunately. Um, and then on all three of the white nails that I used, um, the little Swarovski crystal came off. Uh, one of them I have, so I'm probably going to glue it back on, but two of them just got lost, I don't know, somewhere. Okay, sorry. Hopefully I'm still in focus here. I had to go because my memory card is full. But anyway, so yeah, the white ones, the stones fell off of all of them. Um, I did lose these three. They all popped off. This one popped off on Tuesday, I think, so two days after I've had them on. Um, this one, I think, was on Thursday. No, I'm sorry. This one was on Thursday, the thumb, and then yesterday this one came off. But the nice thing is it's really easy to just glue them back on. It just takes a second. So um, that wasn't really too big of a deal. Now, if they had, like, all come off multiple times, I would have been really mad. But the fact that, you know, over the course of a week, three of them popped off, not that big of a deal. Um, the good news is when they came off, it didn't, like, hurt or my nail, like, didn't seem damaged at all, which that I was pretty amazed about, or amazed by, um, it just was totally, totally fine, um, sorry, I'm on a group message and my phone is buzzing, and my dad's phone is in here, so it's buzzing too, but anyway, so, um, I mean, I was pretty pleased by that, and like I said, I am pretty rough on my hands, I do a lot of crafts and a lot of projects, so, um, I think that comes into play a lot, um, Oh uh, yeah. So I think that I would rebuy static nails to be honest, just because I do love having long nails and it's a really great temporary solution. So I think that I would recommend them. But I would say if you're gonna get them, um, if you're just wanting to wear them for like a special event, because you can use less glue and use them just for like one day and then soak them in warm water and pop them off. Um, so if you're just wanting to do short wear, then I would say definitely get whatever embellishments you want on them. But I think if you're wanting to like extend the time you wear them and wear them for like a week or two, I would probably just go for some of the simpler designs that they have. Um, and they do have quite a few that are still really pretty and like have cool um, geometric patterns and things on them, but they don't have like the actual, you know, crystals or things like that. Um, so I guess that's kind of my two cents about static nails. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, make sure to subscribe if you like this. Um, also feel free to follow me along on my blog, which is just ValerieBrennan.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Same thing, Valerie Brennan. And yeah, I love chatting with you guys, so make sure to leave a comment, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye, and I guess this will be late, but happy belated Father's Day to all you dads out there. Thanks.